welcome to DS Trucks. In today's video, we're going to be doing a highway towing test, towing a dump trailer with our 2018 F-150 with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. So as you see, we're hooked up to this dump trailer. It's a dual axle 14 foot short track. It is rated for 14,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating on the trailer, but it's pretty empty. It's got a couple things in it. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got in here. Um, just some props, I would say, from the last job that we did. Wheelbarrow still in there. There's a cone and a couple shovels. So, eh, maybe an extra 80 pounds. I don't know. But uh, we've got our uh, trailer hooked up here. Now, in a way, our truck is maxed out and that would be with tongue weight and that's one of the Achilles heels of the F-150 or towing with most half tons I can't say for sure if Chevy or uh, Dodge have the limitation of 500 pounds on the tongue weight without weight distribution but I will say that it is hard to find out like if you look online at the maximum tongue weight for an F-150 Ford's very open and they tell you very clearly if you just look into it and read the manual, I don't have a Dodge or a, a GMC, so it's hard for me to even look in a manual, but I would be impressed if they did have over 500 pounds of tongue weight from the manufacturer, because that is a limitation from Ford, only having 500 pounds. And it might be all half tons. I'm not exactly sure if it is all half tons, but if you have a Chevy or a Dodge and the truck, the manufacturer tells you in the manual that you can go over 500 pounds on the tongue, that would be a huge advantage. If you could get a thousand on the tongue, that would be great. Uh, it probably would be okay with this truck being a long wheelbase truck, but this is, uh, but it's just an overall limitation. It's 500 pounds, so if you get the shortest, f-150 500 pounds for the shortest lightest f-150 would be pushing it but for a long wheel base high trim level it's just high curb weight f-150 it's not as big of a deal so 500 pounds i've towed with over 500 on the tongue weight before and it did okay did pretty good but anyway we're gonna go ahead and fill up with gas so we can get an mpg reading as well and we're gonna tow this trailer on the highway and see how the f-150 does anyway uh, see you guys at the gas station. All right, filling up with gas, and we got thirteen dollars, four point eight gallons, and that's essentially how much gas I used yesterday. But we'll go for a second squeeze, and we'll fill up again after to see how accurate the. Uh, we'll see how accurate the trip computer is but anyway see you guys on the road but before we hit the road let's go ahead and reset our trip computer so we can compare the mpg to what we calculate longhand so anyway let's get this show going so is there a place for the f-150 when it comes to heavy towing you know it's definitely a tough thing like we talked about uh in the opening scene the tongue weight is just not there but I will say this we're at 11 miles to the gallon pushing up on 12 miles to the gallon that's pretty good if you could make this truck work and I know a lot of the fears are that the uh, the, the drivetrain just won't last you know that's something to really think about are you you worried about turbos and transmission issues they're just not built like the heavy duty trucks but they are really efficient so i've said before this is not the best work truck to me it's the best recreational truck because it gives you so much for daily use you know you could drive this thing every day oh that guy stopped kind of quick you can drive this thing every day you can idle it like crazy you can start this thing up if you want to sit in it if it's cold if you want to take care of business you can sit in this truck and stay warm versus these diesels nowadays with all their emissions they, they really don't recommend extended idling time which is not cool you know that's something that you would want to do with your truck if you needed to is idle for extended periods of time so you know that's one of those things you know 
Now the gas, the gas heavy duty trucks, you know, those trucks are great, but they use so much fuel. Trust me, I know I have one and I'm not going to really see 11 on the 11 miles to a gallon empty. So that's something really to think about. I've got a F-250, a 2019 F-250 with uh, 430 gears, but uh, we're getting down on the freeway here. We're in tow hall, two wheel drive. It's a little bit wet, but we're going to keep it in two wheel. We're going to just drive conservatively. You know, I've another thing with this uh towing with these f-150s is they don't have the best brakes for this so um i think my rear brakes are about ready to be changed and you know it's about that time but super duty's just they have what much they have far superior braking systems and i plow i plow snow with my super duty i tow every day and I don't tow incredibly heavy, but the brakes just never have an issue. Now, I will say this too about this truck. Power-wise, compared to my gas Super Duty, even though it's got 430 gears, this has probably got more power. It seems like it's got more power. It's very effortless to get this thing up to 60. So when the power department, we're there. Like, that's not an issue. It's just a matter of... And it's just a matter of, you know, dur long-term durability. But... Um, the stability feels good. Uh, I'm not going to go incredibly fast with this trailer. It's a dump trailer, but the stability is really good with this uh, with this truck. Now, this is going to be different for F-150. Not all F-150s are created equal. This is a max towing package. It's a long wheelbase package, which pays, plays a pretty big impact on how your truck tows. My wife drives a 2.7 with a short wheelbase. And I can tell you that it's not as stable. Uh, and she doesn't have the max towing package either. But it's not as stable as this truck is. I've owned the shorter one myself. And it wasn't it wasn't as stable. But, you know, the limitations of the 500 pounds really just is one of the things. Where it's why I'm looking for a heavy-duty truck. You know, uh, the diesels... I'm looking at those, but some of the things with the diesels, like you don't want to idle them and all that, and the emissions. But I also want something that I can drive and get some decent fuel economy just because, you know, I know what it is to have a gas heavy duty on a daily basis and it's just going to be a lot of fuel consumption. So we are four miles in. We're at 12.6 miles to the gallon. It's starting to rain here, but I'm going to drive a little more. And I'm going to check back in with you guys uh, after a few minutes. I'm going to think about how this experience is towing on the highway so that I have something, something to report back. But anyway, see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so we are about 14 miles in, and we're getting 14.5 miles to the gallon, which is pretty impressive. Now, obviously, uh, gasoline Super Duty would not be able to return this kind of mpg but i'm curious to what a power stroke diesel could return you know that'd be very interesting to see but overall again still stable it's raining outside no issues with that truck is just solid stable no problems just uh just doing its thing so we're gonna keep on going along here and we'll uh we'll shoot back to the gas station maybe i'll check in one more time and we'll uh see what happens here so see you guys in the next scene all right so it's really coming down now but i want to show you guys the uh transmission and how the 10 speed is handling uh everything and right like i said right now we're going a little slower because of the rain but check it out but yeah we'll uh check back here at the gas station i'm gonna focus on driving now that it's raining but see you guys at the gas station all right, and back at the pump, and according to the computer, we got 14.6 miles to the gallon and a total of 33 miles driven. I actually did put it in four-wheel drive auto because the freeway got a little crazy, so a good maybe four or five miles of this is city driving, but we'll go ahead and fill it up and see what we got. All right, and there's the first click waiting about 30 seconds, and second click. For a total of 6.5, I'm sorry, 
for a total of 2.449 gallons used. All right, in doing the calculation by hand, we burned 2.449 gallons and drove 33 miles for, for a total of 13.47 miles to the gallon. So we were off by just over one MPG because the computer told us 14.6. So which one to believe? I don't know. Either one could be flawed. Um, the computer, if it doesn't know exactly how many miles we're driven, I don't know. It's tough to say, but they're both within reason within one uh, gallon, one MPG. So I think that's close enough. Uh, another thing is I don't know if it's as accurate when it's towing, but um, either way, good test. Had fun doing it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Over and out. DS Trucks, nothing but the best.